Hey, stupid. Will you go over to the sit and jitter and get me a coffee? Why can't you go into the shop and get it yourself? Because the manager there is a moron who doesn't understand sound business advice when it's given to him for free. And what kind of financial advice did you give? Yeah, did you tell him that business would pick up if he had the cappuccino machine blessed? Again? No. Besides, I secretly blessed them like weeks ago. Like a Christian ninja. A Christian ninja? Yeah, we covertly pray and bless, and on occasion, perform exorcisms. I can see it now. The ninja named Holy Dragon. My ninja name is Supplicating Python, I'll have you know. We're way off topic! Why can't you go into the coffee shop anymore? I was banned just because I told him that he was taking a big risk with his new counter person. Rita? What's so risky about Rita? Yeah, she's awesome. I have very complex coffee orders, and she's never messed them up. And she always saves me an almond croissant. She's super cool! Yeah, but, you know, she's got that problem. I don't speak idiot, Fundy. What are you talking about? Are you guys blind? She's fat! And? And? And it's not good to have fat people around food. Because they eat it. If you're a business owner, they literally eat your profits. You're a fat bigot? That's not a thing. Wait, is that a thing? Well, it depends on who you ask. No, it doesn't. Yes, it's a thing. People are discriminatory against other people who are overweight. Ah, but is it discriminatory when it's true? Fat people constantly eat. It's not discrimination. It's just the way it is. Would you put a pyromaniac in charge of the gasoline and lighter warehouse? Overweight people aren't constantly eating. There are lots of reasons as to why someone would be obese. Yeah, there are lots of reasons, like cake, candy, pie, Cheetos. I am going to punch you. Whoa, Jason, you just went from zero to violent. Calm down. I can't stand bigots, and you have basically just demonstrated that you are one. How can I be a bigot if fat discrimination is totally fake? It was made up by fat people to get special treatment. No, it's not. Fat people are discriminated against all the time. People take a look at them and they make a ton of presuppositions on their health, their cleanliness, and their self-control. No, we don't. When I see a fat person, I know for a fact that they are unhealthy, filthy people with low self-esteem and can't say no to a donut or two, or maybe even a donut or fifty. But that's being prejudiced! You don't know that for certain! Can I hit him now? All fat people want is for everyone to make allowances for the fact that they haven't met a hamburger they didn't eat. They want bigger doors, bigger seats, and bigger clothing sizes, and they want to force businesses to accommodate them. Please, can I hit him? Not all overweight people are demanding those things. They just don't want to be discriminated against because of how they look. Fat people have to deal with that kind of judgment all of the time. I'll accept that there are people who are discriminated by their race, religion, sexual orientation, sex, physical abilities, and age. But that's it. Are you crazy? This is America. Discrimination and intolerance is one of our major exports. Give us a difference between two sets of people and we can invent a prejudice. Whatever. It's not the same. People can't change their race, sex, or sexual orientation, age, or disability, but they can lose weight. If you want to be treated like everyone else, then just drop the pounds, chubby. It's not that simple. In this food toxic culture, it can be real hard to lose weight. I should know. I've been trying to drop these three pounds since high school. You try to lose weight when every commercial, print ad, and billboard keeps telling you to either celebrate or reward yourself with batter dip, deep fried, butter smothered, chocolatey goodness. That's their problem. I can eat anything and I don't gain an ounce. So it's okay to discriminate against people who don't have the same willpower or metabolism as you do? I know it sounds harsh, but yes. Okay, you stay here. I'm going to go get that billy club out of my desk. Okay. Hmm, I just noticed something. That we're about to witness a homicide? No, just now. 
Fundy said that discrimination against race, sex, age, physical disabilities, and sexual orientation was valid because people can't change those things. Well, you can change your sex. One controversy at a time, AJ. But did you notice what he didn't mention? What? I mentioned them all. No, you didn't. Religion! You left that one out! No, I didn't. Religious discrimination is just as valid as all those other kinds of discrimination. Not by your logic. People can always change their religion if they're being discriminated against. No, they can't. It's totally different. In fact, it's probably easier to change your religion than lose a bunch of weight. Yeah. If you're being treated badly due to your religion, you shouldn't complain because you can just change. Just like fat people could lose weight. That's not what I meant. That's exactly what you meant! Your hypocrisy is exposed! Just admit you're wrong. No, this is discrimination. You're all prejudiced against Christian. What do you guys think? Is fat prejudice real, or is it a big made-up thing so that fat people can feel better about themselves? Or is fat prejudice a real thing that should be addressed in the interest of fair treatment? Comment! And now watch as I beat Fundy to a pulp! No, it's okay. We took care of it. Yeah, we used religious prejudice to expose his fat discrimination hypocrisy. What? I missed it? Is this true, Fundy? Of course not. I'm always right. My hypocrisy was never exposed. Aw, oh, man, you did expose it. Well, that's what you get for jumping straight to the rage rather than using your brains. My God. Hello, my fellow Homo sapiens. Today is November 29th, 2013, and it's Black Friday, Buy Nothing Day, Electronic Greetings Day, Flossing Day, International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian People Day, Maze Day, National Day of Listening, National Native American Heritage Day, Zinky Day, and Your Welcome Giving Day. So, whether you embrace America's rampant consumerism or reject it, whether you floss or listen, there is a fake made-up holiday just for you. Why? Because this country does not believe in moderation. I'm fairly certain that one of these days I'm going to come across such things as gum stuck underneath a desk day and aglet day. Don't know what an aglet is? Look it up. There's going to be a policy change, Opinion Villagers. Um, in an effort to try to keep these episodes relatively tightly compact, and also because I only have a limited amount of time to make these videos every week, considering that I'm doing it by myself, I'm going to have to limit the intimate questions portion of um, the show to five questions. The first five questions that are posted in the comment section are the ones that are going to be answered. Um, I'm of course going to weed out anything that's already been answered, um, that's already been uh, asked and answered before, um, and I'm going to try to decide when something is uh, just a rhetorical question and the person isn't actually looking for an answer. Um, so, with that said, first up, Rust in Peace Gootube asks Hillary Clinton will never be president of this country. Care to wager on it right now? I don't really gamble in politics ever since I lost my shirt in the 2000 presidential election. 5 Aven 10 asks, Intimate question for Raul. Do you prefer to remain behind the scenes because you're camera shy, or do you just not have a lot of opinions to share? Oh, I have tons of opinions, but I'm never allowed to have them because I have sworn the swear that all producers have made. Damn your opinions! Make the money. And that's what I basically do. I try to make sure that we have a program every week and I stuff my opinions way, way down into my chest area and until it starts to hurt a lot. Actually, it hurts pretty much when I try to walk upstairs or if I think about my impending marriage to Fundy Monster. My doctor says that I'm a prime candidate for a heart attack, but I don't believe him. Anyway, uh, so that's why. Not because I hate Jew. Jew people are my favorite. I just have lots and lots of producing things to do, which I am not doing right now. Oh, 
Oh. Andrian Timeswift asks, Question for AJ. Why does everyone mispronounce my username? There's an N in that first part. Do you think it's just part of a sinister plot by the Illuminati and the lizard people? I'm gonna tell you something that my mentor told me. Not everything is a plot from the lizard people. Sometimes it is, but not always. Augustine Camus asks, question for me, Jason. Which previous episode? Oh, you know, the one with you know, all the stuff in it. You know, the puppets and stuff. That one. From like, you know, a couple years ago. Derek Pratt asks, Question one, for all the puppets. Who would you fuck, marry, or kill? Miss Piggy, Tiffany, the Bride of Trucky, or Lamb Chop? My puppets are not going to answer that question because this is a family program. Despite all the swears. And the, uh, sex talk. And the violence. Wait, really? A family program? Question two. Who would win in a fight? Fundy or Salacious Crumb? As for who would win in a fight, I don't know. I'll just uh, contact ILM and see if they can set something up. Let's say five round competition. So that's it this time. Remember, if you have a question that you want answered, leave it down in the comment section, along with any topic suggestions or just general comments you want to leave. Until next time, my delightful little Smurfs, this has been Jason with a D. Hey Jason! What? Did I send you my Christmas list? A list? No, you sent me the Toys R Us catalog. Right, that's my Christmas list. I want everything in there except for the Barbie chapters. Well, okay, I want the Barbies too. A little greedy this year, Oswald? No, I am a monster of refined tastes. And what I want to taste are a buttload of toys this Christmas. Hold that thought. Hey, everybody. Time to interrupt this demonstration of Yuletide Avarice and shout you out. Hello, Hernbreg. You have the name that epic poems are named after, like uh, Hernbreg and the Loincloth of Doom. Chainsader 38. Um, some number eights have infected your screen name. Screebson. Ah, yes, the son of the village Screeber. Brascofarian. You worship the French rapper Brasco? Excalibur. You are either very clever or you flunked English. Shinigami Dan. Are you a Shinigami name, Dan, or do you just love death gods? Ninja Viper Ace. Part ninja? Part Viper? All Ace. Mr. Greycoat. I have a cousin who calls himself Mr. Pink Socks. Despicable. You mangled up the English language good with that one, Despicable. Ken of the Falcon. I am Jason of... Uh... The House Cat. Okay, that's it. Remember, if you've subbed and you haven't been shouted out, please let Jason with a D know. Thanks. Bye. So now that we know what I want for Christmas, what do you want for Christmas, Jason? A segment of my very own. I had one once. A long time ago. What happened? Something big, blue, and furry happened to it. Grover took your segment away? Yeah. It was Grover. I hate him now. Oh, hello. Remember me? Of course you don't, because I'm barely on the channel. I am Trudeau. And I'm here to ask you to please subscribe. Or, if you want to watch a previous episode, click the previous episode thing. Or, if you want to purchase a t-shirt, then click on that. Or, if you want to visit the channel from the guy who makes all the music, you can do that as well. Is this all I am doing here? I don't have my own segment or anything? Just tell people to click on buttons? Well, why don't you just put a big sign up that says, Click on buttons. You didn't have to drag me all the way from home. I had a nice, warm cup of soup and a decent book that I was going to read, and then you give me a call, and I think, oh, goody, I'm going to be a contributing member to the site, but no, now I'm just here telling people to click on things, which, you know.